What's up everybody? Welcome to Rotor Rat Workbench. I'm Let's Flyer C and I'm going to show you how to fix your scratched or dinged FPV camera lens on your DJI O3 FPV system. I've actually scratched the lens on this O3 camera and rather than purchasing a new camera lens, I'm going to quickly sand and buff out the scratches so that it's fresh and new. To do this, you'll need a two millimeter hex driver, a very small Phillips head screwdriver, and a sharp pointy razor blade. The first step to do this is to remove the M2 screws from the side of the FPV camera if you haven't already done that using your two millimeter hex driver. I've already removed them and I like to use a magnet to hold all my screws so I've placed them on the magnet. The magnet's also really good for magnetizing your tools so that it makes it easier during the build process. After removing the four M2 screws out of the side of the camera, we're going to remove the two Phillips heads out of the side of the camera, one on each side and place them on the magnet so they don't get lost. There we go. Now that we have the two screws removed, we're going to very gently pull the casing apart, being very careful because inside is a very short cable that could get ripped out if you're not cautious. To remove this connector from the camera, you're gonna to wanna to take your sharp razor blade and pry up on the center section of this connector. It has three sections, the front, the rear, and the center. You want to get your razor blade right up in the middle of that centerpiece and pry up very gently, being careful not to damage the connection points on either end of it. If you do it properly, you should pop right out just like that. And now that we have our camera cable removed from our camera, we can set our video transmitter aside. The next step is to take out the tiny Phillips head screws in the back of the camera that hold it to the front casing. We have four screws, one, two, three, four that hold the camera to the front metal mounting plate. We're gonna pull out those four screws and place them on the magnet. Being careful not to mix them up with the other two screws because they are different sizes. Now that those have been removed, we can gently pull the metal mounting plate off of the camera. I like to put my thumb on the camera lens and push it right out of there. And now the camera casing has been removed from the camera itself. Let's set the magnet and all of our extra pieces aside because this is all we're going to need to buff out our camera lens. This next step is a little bit more advanced. We're going to use some buffing compound, a buffer on the end of a drill, some 1500 and some 1000 grit wet sandpaper, and some electrical tape, and of course the camera. The first step is to semi-waterproof the camera by wrapping it with electrical tape. We want to wrap everything with electrical tape except for the front of the lens just to kind of keep some of the water out of the camera and prevent it from getting damaged. So I'm just going to very carefully tightly wrap this electrical tape around the camera lens to try to keep the water away from the electronic portions of this camera. You could pull the camera lens completely out, but the glue that holds it in place is really strong and then you take a risk of knocking it out of focus and we'll have to completely refocus the camera when we're done. To avoid all that, I'm just wrapping everything with electrical tape and it should be totally fine. I've done this once before so there should be no problem. Let's set this other stuff aside for now. We're gonna take our dish of water and our 1000 grit sandpaper, and we're going to dip the end of our sandpaper in the water to wet it. Don't need a lot of water, just a little bit. And once we've got it on there, let's just go ahead and gently rub the sandpaper over the lens in a circular pattern until we've gone past the scratches or pits that are in your camera lens. You can dry it off with your finger to visually inspect it and potentially even use reading glasses to verify that you've gotten all the scratches. I still see some tiny scratches, so I'm gonna continue. Okay, now you can see that the camera lens is very dull, but all the scratches have been removed. Now that I feel like all the scratches have been flattened out, I'll take the 1500 grit sandpaper and do the same procedure to remove some of the swirls that were created by the 1000 grit sandpaper. I want to basically remove any kind of swirls that were created by the 1000 grit sandpaper before I buff the rest of it out. This also helps to bring back some of the glossy finish as well. That's starting to look really nice. If you get some really deep scratches, you can even go up to 800 grit if you need to. But then go back to 1000 and 1500 along the way to smoothen up all the scratches you're creating by using this heavier grit sandpaper. The final step is to set the water tray aside and come back with our high speed buffer and some buffing compound. I'm going to take a very small dab of buffing compound 
and put it on the top of the camera just like that. Now very slowly I'm going to start to spin the buffer so that the buffing compound doesn't go flying everywhere. Then I'll slowly speed up the high speed buffer and come back with a little bit more buffing compound. We'll repeat this process until we have a nice glossy finish left on our camera lens. Be careful not to spin the buffer too fast or you could burn it. That's looking really nice. When it's all finished, come back with a microfiber cloth and wipe off all the excess buffing compound. You don't want to do this with a paper towel because there's grains in a paper towel and you could scratch your lens all over again. That's beautiful. It's like brand new again. Now we just have to reassemble the camera back in reverse order. Now I'll peel off the tape. We'll reinstall our camera cage back to the camera itself. Be sure to orient it in this direction when reassembling. Slide it back in place and reinstall the four screws that we took out earlier. If the screw holes don't line up, you've put it in upside down. Flip it over and try again. Now reinstall the four tiny Phillips head screws that lock the camera to the mounting plate. Now that we have those four screws back in place, we're going to reinstall the camera cable. Look closely at the camera cable to find the side that has all the little tiny metal pins sticking up. These pins need to line up to the slot in the connector of the camera. Line them up just like this and press it in place with your thumb. Being very careful not to press too hard and damage it if it's not lined up properly. It needs to be lined up exact in order for it to snap in place. Once you've got it mostly locked in place with your fingernail, you can come back and gently press on it to finish locking it in place. Be very careful not to damage the connector or the pins while doing this. Once you have it locked in place, if you slightly tug on it, it shouldn't move and come out of place. Now we need to slide the two pieces of the camera back together, being sure not to damage the cable in the process. There's barely enough room on this cable to fit inside the camera, so as you're sliding it back together, be very careful that you're not crushing the camera cable or pinching it on its way together. If you lined it up properly, it should go right back together just like this. Squeeze it together with your fingers and install the two remaining screws. And that's how you repair a scratched or sandblasted DJI O3 camera lens. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comment how you damaged your DJI O3 FPV camera lens. And if this was helpful, please like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. I'm Let's Fly RC. And we'll see you next time on Rotor Riot Workbench.